Doctor Who The War Games Episode 4 Barn Jamie and Buckingham are stranded in American Civil War Zone. A group of soldiers surround them. Thompson, and just who might you be? Serrat. Very large inside with transparent room dividers. Sorry, Doctor, look, it's like the TARDIS, bigger inside than out. Doctor, yes, sorry, you're right, sorry. But who else would have space-time machines like the TARDIS? Doctor, well, there is an answer to that, but I hope, I just hope. Sorry, what? So he takes a pair of plastic visors from eye holes from his shelf. Sorry, Doctor, what are these? Doctor, Zoe, come and see. The doctor's found a battalion of German W1 soldiers. Sorry, why are they just standing there like that? Doctor, they seem to be in some sort of hypnotic trance. There are Romans in another section. Sorry, the Romans, like the ones that attacked us. But they, these soldiers, what are they here for? Doctor, they're going to fight, Zoe. That's what soldiers are for. Sorry, but they're all in from different times. The Sariat rematerializes. Sorry, we're landing. The doctor looks for an empty compartment. Doctor, quick in here. The Romans march past. Sorry, you must. We could get away. Doctor, no. We only land up right in the middle of another war. Sorry, well then, what are we going to do? Doctor, well, this thing must eventually go back to its base. That's where we've got to get to. Sorry. Oh, but Doctor, surely the Sarat door closes and deteriorates, dematerializes. Doctor, it's taking us off again. That settles it. Barn. Thompson. What? Where do you come from? What are you doing here? Buckingham. Well, it's rather difficult to explain, actually. Raleigh, but you're English. Jamie, and I'm not. I'm Scott. Raleigh, you're English. Spies for the South. Jamie, oh, not again. Look, we're not spies. We've nothing to do with your war. Buckingham, we're neutral. Thompson, in a civil war, man. Madam, no one is neutral. But who do you... Now, who do you support? The North or the Confederates in the South? Jamie, what are you talking about? Buckingham, American Civil War, Jamie, remember? Jamie, oh, I, Riley. Oh, they're rev spies, sure enough. I'd tie them up. Buckingham, what are you going to do to us? Thompson, that's up to the general. We leave here. You're coming with us. Riley, and the general? He didn't take kindly to spies. Doesn't take kindly to spies, he shoots at Buckingham. This is disgraceful. We're neutral civilians. Riley, okay, over here, there. Thompson, all right, you guys, ten minutes rest. Not you. I out on sentry duty. Well, I don't know. Sooner does the soldier step outside. He shot Rob Thompson, rebels. Americans are fully occupied. Jamie, try and get my knife. Riley, sorry, there's too many of them. Riley, Thompson, give me your rifle. Okay. Take, make a break for wood. I'll stay behind and give you covering. Fire, move. Riley, good luck, Sarge. The soldiers withdraw. Buckingham tries to cut Jamie's bonds. Thompson leaves last. Buckingham, they've forgotten all about us. Jamie, just as well. What, how are you doing? Buckingham, oh, no good, Jamie. Too late. The Confederate army have taken the barn. Levi, now don't you worry, madam. You're safe now. Oh, just like those Yankees to treat a lady like this. Buckingham, thank you. Levi, that's my pleasure, madam. Levi turned ties Buckingham and Jamie. Levi happens all the time, madam. Yankees, they take over your house, tie you up, steal your food. Oh, would you excuse me, ma'am? Levi took his commander, who we only see from the back. He's bald, and as soon as he speaks, a bad, with a bad southern accent, we know who it is. Levi, and the Yankee has some civilian prisoners, and the Yankee says civilian prisoners, sir. Von Welch, these people are enemies of the South. Levi, but Captain Lumbelt, Von Welch, a boy's a Yankee soldier, but woman is a spy. You tie him up. Levi, yes, Captain. Von Welch turns and removes his monocle. Scientist, war with scientists. But the difficulties of this form of mental processing are considerable. War chief, I'm not interested in excuses. The process should be universally effective. Scientists, we only have a 5% failure rate. War chief, that 5% is causing us endless trouble. 
So, so, scientists, what harm c- can they do? War chief, sabotage, murder, and sub- subversion. Pockets of resistance building up everywhere. So, scientists, but 5%? So few, then cause you trouble. Lord Chief, the numbers are growing all the time. Ever they band together in one organised group, it calls enough trouble to upset a major plan. The process must be improved. Scientists, it's already t- it has been. I'm hoping to give a first demonstration to, student, to the students very shortly. Lord Chief, I hope you, for your sake, the experiment will be successful. Alarm sounds. Von Welch will monitor. Von Welch, civil, American Civil War Zone. To central control. Two more escapees from 1917. Zone have been recaptured. The woman and the boy. The older man and the girl are still free. Soldiers are now hunting them down. War Chief, excellent. When, when you catch the other two, send them all, them all here. Von Welch will monitor, sir. Transmission ends. War Chief. You make an excellent specimens for your reprocessing experiment. Sigat. Sirat. Zoe, we're landing again. Doctor, yes, all the soldiers have been delivered to this, mu- so this must be the base. It's base. So, your doctor, how did we get back to Jennifer and Jamie? It's working, it's working on remote control, doctor, yes. Well, there are some controls here. I they say you must get the hang of them. Sir, at landing bay, a man is placing various shapes on a large board in front of him. Sir, at materializes a cubicle behind him, opens opens his door, and a doctor, as they peek out, Zoe, Doctor, he must be the person who's controlling this thing. Doctor, shh, an 1800 soldier marches past wearing a visor with three vertical slits with, with four eye holes. Zoe, those glasses, they're both wearing them. Doctor, yes, you're right, you'd better put them on. He put on the v- visors. Doctor, well, come on, let's explore. Barn, Jamie and Lady Jennifer hide up in their cars, are playing cards of crock crows. Jamie, how long have you been we going to be kept here? Jerry, hey. You with the blonde hair, I'm talking to you. Leroy, you're staying here until the captain finds his friend, those friends of yours. We're going to show all, all four of you together. Yankee spies, bucket them. We're not Yankees. We are, we are with the prison, we're, with the prisoners. Don't you remember? Jerry, I, you found us. Look, with the, you're going, what, you were going to let us go. Leroy, let me, let me let you go. That's a crazy, you dangerous Yankee spies. Leroy goes back to his game of, of not fizzbin. Back in them, it's no good, Jamie. You can't possibly get it undone. Don't get, get it undone. It's somehow, someone puts a hand over her mouth. It's a Negro soldier, and that's so not Confederate one. Harper, not a sound, mister. Not one sound. Harper unties them. Harper, there's a hole in the planks over there. Get a move on. Back in them, Jamie, Parker, Harper. Sneak out, Leroy and his companion. Leroy, hey, what about it? Oh, I want to have some water. Leroy spots the escapees. Leroy, hey, look. Harper, run for it. Jamie, come on. Harper, no, run. Oh, no, no, I'll hold him off. Jamie, where to? Harper, trail, drew north, old camp. Jamie, right. Jamie and Buck right get away. Harper's captured. Von Welch, what happened? Leroy, they got away. He turned them loose. You can't, they can't have got far. We'll Van Welch, get a cavalry patrol, get after them, hunt them down, so you turn them loose. But where are they, where are they making for, boy? Hold up, no, look, I ain't gonna tell you anything, nothing. Van Welch picks his monocle in place. Van Welch, you're going to tell me where you're making, that they're making for. Harper, sorry, Captain, but that stuff won't work on me. Well, which, you're for the resistance, Harper. That's right. I'm not one of you, listen, all you all. You're not fighting the war between the states. You know, he's just using you. Gone well, it's no use. They never get them to understand. They're under my control. Coach to the side, Jamie runs down the slope. Jamie, Lady Jennifer, Lady Jennifer, a cavalry man charges at Jamie, swinging his sword. Jamie dodges, picks up a stout tree branch. As the man comes back for another go, Jamie unhorses him, takes his mount and scallops away. Jamie, come on, yeah, yeah. The soldier shoots and misses. Central area, the dot turns Zoe exploring. The doorways and keyholes are oh, keyhole shaped. Zoe, we pass through a reception area and living quarters. Lecture rooms. It's just like a university, Doctor. Yes, a sort of training school, but for what? 
Irish, three soldiers from different areas walk past. Say, why didn't they take any notice of us? Because of the glasses? Dodo, no, yes, I think so. Come on, let's see what else you can, you can find. God, you two in. Dodo, well, we were lost. We were, we were just God. Here yeah, you're late. Dodo, oh, well, you insist, God, the, the, the lecture's already started. Doctor, lecture? Time to date your whole side is should. You arrive on another plate. You must be aware, not be aware of the problem to remain. Taking the specimen's personality. Retaining the specimen's personality is a fighting man. While at the same time putting him under the, under, him under our control. As you know, we move the human specimens from their own world and time and place them in the context. We seem to them to be the same. It's vital that you continue to believe they're living in their own lives on the planet Earth and fighting wars from which they were taken. Sorry, Sato. So this isn't Earth? Doctor, quiet. Quite right, Doctor. Sorry, quite right. Scientists with the majority of human specimens. Process used in them both lasting and effective. However, in the case of certain humans, particularly strong characters in individuality, the effects of the process have not been permanent. Gradually, the process seemed tended to be fade. Specimens that developed an ability to pass through the time zone barriers. Some found themselves in the distant groups, groups which has, have considerably hampered the process of our plan to be overcome. It is to overcome this problem that I, I have further refined a process technique. This demonstrated process I've chosen a particularly difficult specimen. A man who, fi- who finally shook off the effects, process completely, and allied himself to resistance elements in order to fight us. God bring out the gurney on which Carstairs is strapped. Scientist, this is Lieutenant Carstairs, a nineteen seventy. Seventeen British officer, who at some time after his initial process believed himself to be flying for his country. However, as I shall demonstrate, process completely collapsed. Now he's fully conscious of his surroundings. Were you? Carl says, I don't know. Scientists describe what you see. Carl says, a room full of filled with a lot of scientific bumbo jumbo, funny people, strange clothes, and those sort of glasses that you're wearing. Doctor Justice Sir Carl says, keep quiet. Scientist says, you see, he's, he's fully aware of his surroundings, very hostile. After my new technique has been applied, he will not be in a completely docile. He will be fully convinced that whatever I let him, I tell him will be the truth. The scientist claims Carl says in a metal vice-like device. Turns so on. Sorry, can't we help him? Doctor, no, 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 not yet, later. Scientist machine is, of course, a new prototype of due course of machines will be built to this pattern, capable of processing large groups of specimens simultaneously. Machine finishes its cycle. Scientists release him. The guards unstrap classes who stand up. Scientist, who, what is your name? Carl says, Carl says. Scientist, I am your superior officer, you know. Carl says, yes, sir. Scientist, where are you? Carl says. Carl says, well, sir, I am scientist. You're in my office at headquarters. I'm your commanding general. Carl says, yes, sir, I'm at the general's office. Carl says, as you see, whatever he sees, he trans, as you see, whatever he sees, he transforms into something he can understand. Now, what is this? Carl says, what, sir? Scientist, this. Carl says, I'm sorry, sir, but there's nothing there. Certain objects have been, uh, which are beyond his comprehension. He will not see it all. Who, uh, now who are these people? Carl says, that's my brother's officers. They are my brother, brother officers. So I set those two people. They are German spies. Countryside. Brankenham is running up from a man, running from a man on horseback and falls exhausted. A man dismounts and pulls her to her feet when Jamie gallops uh, up, jumps on him and knocks him out. Jerry, come out. Come on. There'll be more of them after us. Too late. And there are, there are rifles aimed at them from all sides. Lecture hall. Carstairs has been strapped down again. Carstairs. But they're, but they're German spies. I was a court martial. You've got to believe me, Sarah says, is wheeled away. 
Tiny says, we will examine him later. Doctor, well, I don't think much of that, that as a demonstration, scientist. Will you kindly return to your place, Doctor? A man was obviously unhinged as a result of your experiment. Scientist's experiment was successful. Doctor, then why did he call me a general human spy? It's obviously ridiculous, isn't it? Scientist's embarrassment is only temporary. He is probably probably involved with tracking down some German spies before he came here. It's obviously become a frustration. Dodder, oh, then he's obviously no use for our purposes, is he? Dodder opens up the brain watching his apparatus. Dodder, oh yes, just as I thought. This is your trouble, you know. Dodder, scientist, will you leave that apparatus alone? Dodder, yes, this circuit is overloading. A natural power, scientist. You are here in the capacity of a student. You are here in the capacity of a student. Dodder, you don't you didn't do protest the man, that man first, did you? Doctor, there was no, there was no need. He's processing and completely lapsed. You saw that for yourself, Doctor. I saw the man who's processing had partly lapsed. You should have completely deprocessed him first. I don't suppose you can do that on a machine like this. Scientists, of course we can. It's simply a case of reprogramming these circuits here. Doctor, what? What here? Scientist, and here, Doctor, yes, the scientist, and here, Doctor, oh. Barn, Jamie and Buckingham have dumped down next to Harper. Their hands are tied in front of them. Buckingham, who are you? Why did you help us, Harper? You came from one of those other wars. Jamie, you know what's going on then? Harper, you see these guys over there? They think they're fighting the war between the states. It is in America. Buckingham, where do you think it is then? Harper, look, you come through one of those mists like you, to get here, right? Right, Jimmy, right. Harper, well, every time you go through one of those mists, you go, you're in some war, some other place. Buckingham, how long have you realised this? Harper, I first did most of these things quite a while back. I found some other guys who were the same. Jamie, you mean is more like you? Oh, but there are gangs of us hiding in the woods. We're trying to fight. Von Welch, now we've combed, now we've combed the entire area. We still haven't found all your friends. Jamie, just a moment. Von Welch, now you're all going to tell me where you are. Go, Jamie, I've seen you before. Gunshots, Leroy enters. Leroy attack coming from the direction of the woods, sir. Von Welch, get a patrol out of there. Keep them back. Soldiers from different races and wars rush into overpower the Americans. Although it shoots a few and tries to make his escape, they surrounded a Cossack and, and, and ties the captives. Jamie, what are you doing, going to do to him, Harper? Kill him, of course. He's one of the people running, running things around here. Jamie, no, no, you mustn't. You need him. Harper, you get out of my way, get out of the way, boy. I'll have to kill you too. Natural hall, the scientists, you see, it's perfectly simple. With circuits arranged in this manner, the scientists, the machine removes all traces of any previous processing. Doctor, oh yes, I see. Yes, that's fascinating. Scientists, and since we now see the time allotted for the demonstration, I suggest you, we, you all continue to make your next, to your next assignment. Doctor, thank you. Come along, Zoe. All, all alarm sounds, and Doctor moves his visor. The guards rush in, and then the so, so, war chief enters. Chief, chief enters. War chief. Was the experiment successful? Science is partly, partly, but the specimen shows signs of mental unbalance. On the process, war chief. Then the modification has not was not successful. Scientists, but I think we found a cause. One of the students has been extremely unhelpful to me. Oh, one over there. Doctor, run, Zoe, run. War Chief, stop them, stop them. Okay, so Doctor, Zoe, run, get away. Lich Hall, scientists, you see, it's perfectly simple. The circuits arrange it to this manner. In this manner, machine removes all traces of the silent previous meat process, previous processing. Doctor, oh yes, I see. Yes, it's a fascinating scientist. And since we've now exceeded the time allotted for this demonstration, I suggest we all continue to our next assignment. Doctor, thank you. Come along, Zoe. Alarm sounds. The doctor removes his visor. Guards rush in. Then the war chief enters. War chief. Was the experiment successful? Scientist, partly, partly. The specimen showed up, shows signs of mental imbalance. Our process. War chief. 
Then the modifications were not successful. Scientists, but I think we found the cause. One of the students have been extremely unhelpful to me. The one over there, Doctor, runs and he run. War chief, stop them, stop them. Okay, I said, Doctor and Zoe, right, get away. Just aside, Curse says, been struggling with his strength, and now frees himself as an alarm whips through the he his head. War room. War chief, emergency, you're alert, emergency alert. This is War chief, to all guard posts, to section area, section areas, retain two resistant members. Sparrow, so direct. Danny Bay, Zoe, Enters alone. Carstairs creeps up behind her, puts his hand over her mouth. Zoe, old lieutenant, Carstairs. Thank goodness we thought that. Carstairs pointed out his revolver at her. Zoe, well, what are you doing? It's me, Zoe. Carstairs, you're, you're a German spy, a German spy. My duty to shoot you. Carstairs squeezes the trigger.